Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Rube again, man. I'm just uh, gonna start off by showing you some real basic stuff again um, on Adobe Illustrator. Um, soon to come, though, I will actually be having some uh, Photoshop actual drawings that I've been doing, so definitely check those posts. But before we really, really get started, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys this. That's my buddy Doc, man. Uh, any music that you hear, any of the beats, this is him. Um, definitely go to the site, check him out. Dude is real talented. Uh, now that we got that out of the way, uh, what we're going to start off by doing, start off by, remember the last tutorial, we actually went ahead and made like a whole bunch of squares that were in unison. Well, let's go ahead and start by doing that again. Just make a square or go to uh, the panel over here and select the rectangle tool or hit M of course. Go ahead and hit V on your keyboard so you go ahead and select the selection tool. Hit the alt button so you get the double arrow which means that you're going to actually copy it. Click on it and hold shift down so it uh, goes proportionately basically. Um, go ahead and repeat that step there until you get about six of them. There we go. Five and six. All right, so we got all six of our uh, squares here. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I've already got it inside of my symbols uh, patch here, or swatch, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm just gonna show you the steps of what to do. Go ahead and grab the rectangle tool again, but instead of having the fill color, uh, this bluish green, go ahead and select no fill, and then select the stroke, or hit X key on the keyboard and select uh, this button down here which changed the uh, stroke color to the actual color of, uh, oh, oh, let's go ahead and go back here. Let's go ahead and select the uh, stroke, go ahead and click off of it, and then um, go ahead and select the fill color and select none, go ahead back to the stroke and select the color tool down here and um, from here, go ahead and hit A on your keyboard, select the right side, so you're selecting all these uh, anchor points, and go ahead and hold, uh, click on it, hold shift, and bring it up to here where the bottom meets the top. Now, what we're going to do from here is go back to the rectangle tool, and remember how I showed you, you want to go ahead and do a no fill, I don't know why I keep doing that. But uh, click off of it first, just remember to do that all the time, I forget it, but make sure to do it. You want to go ahead and hit the fill, no fill, and then stroke with this color here. And go ahead and select the rectangle tool again. Um, sorry if I sound a little bit out of it guys, I've actually had about 5 hours of sleep, so that's going to be fun. Uh, I got work in about 6 hours too. Uh, go ahead and select the top left hand point and then drag it down to the right hand corner so they um, match up evenly. Let's go ahead and redo that one time so you can see it. Go ahead up here where it shows anchor point and go down to the bottom right where it says anchor point and go ahead and make this little box here. Now you want to hit V on the keyboard again, select everything, go into your Pathfinder, you can find it in Window, Drop Down, Pathfinder, Shift Control F9, whatever you want to call it. And instead of um, leaving that box there, you actually want to crop it this time. So go ahead and hit the Crop tool, you drag this over to um, your Symbols panel, drop it in there, and you come up with this symbol right here. Go ahead, delete that, and go back into the rectangle tool, or you can hit L and grab the ellipse tool. Go ahead and grab that, and you want to go ahead and make an ellipse, but do the fill once again with the uh, blue screen color, and grab the line segment tool right here, or hit the uh, backslash button. Now, this is a little more advanced here. You want to go ahead and click on the anchor point, drag all the way down and go down to this other anchor point 
uh, what we're going to do, go ahead and either hit Control or V so that way you can uh, navigate between the line segment tool and the selection tool and select everything here and this one you go and hit divide in the pathfinder that way it divides the circle but to get it to do that um, you have to ungroup it so you want to go right click on the circle ungroup and when you do that go ahead hit control or V uh, deselect the object and select the left side with the selection tool and go ahead and press the delete key and bada bing bada boom you got half a circle now you want to go into the effect tool where it says 3D and then hit revolve and when you get into uh, the 3D revolve options uh, panel here you actually want to hit preview and what that's going to do oh, let's go back here you want to select it after you delete the other half duh um, but you want to go ahead and hit revolve again and then preview and there you go you got a circle um, what we're going to do from here actually is we're going to go into map art and when we do this remember that uh, remember that symbol that we made the new one here go ahead and select it and you get this uh, shape here now what I'm going to do is scale to fit and then hit shade artwork and invisible uh, geometry and you get this really crazy kind of effect here um, go ahead and hit OK and the really cool thing let's say that you mess with the angle you get you know just all types of different things that come from that so you want to go ahead and leave it at about 360 though and if you want to mess with the uh, lighting on the actual circle here that you just created like the uh, ribbon circle hit the new light button and that gives you a new highlight so you can go down here add a couple of highlights here and there um, you can select either one move them around and then an even cooler thing about this though you can actually uh, grab the box up here that's uh, going to let you rotate it and watch what happens when you rotate the box. You get real cool different uh, designs and also, um, I mean, it's just something really basic and really cool. Now, after I've shown you, uh, showed you this, well, and the last thing I'll show you on this is like the light intensity. You can go up, down, of course, um, highlight intensity. So if you want them to be bright white, you go all the way up. If you want them to be not so visible, you go down, obviously. So what I'm going to do is get out of here and hit OK. And that's example one. Move that over. Go ahead and hit M on the keyboard again and create a star. Now, this time I'm going to actually just left click or excuse me, right click on the uh, panel here and I'm gonna choose just do like 15 points okay so you get this really crazy star effect okay you wanna do the same thing with the line segment tool go up here to the anchor point and drag down so you're basically cutting this thing in half that's that's essentially what we're doing okay hit control or V um, either one of them and that lets you shift back to the selection tool select both of them and hit the divide button yet again right click and then ungroup deselect uh, after you hit control click on the screen go ahead and let's just do the right side this time I haven't done it yet so let's go ahead and do that delete it and then you want to hit control again select it go up to the effect tool 3D and let's go to revolve here now always remember to click preview because that's going to show you the actual shape that you're coming up with on this one let's just go with 0 and 0 um, and move this down so it's kind of looking straight at you it almost looks like a wheel uh, what you want to do go ahead and do the map art again and there's 16 different sides holy cow um, you can create some really cool stuff with this I mean I got a whole bunch of different uh, symbols that I've saved in here so let's go ahead and just select oh 
let's do this one for the top and scale to fit and go ahead and do shade artwork invisible geometry and you can see you get this really cool effect from that uh, side and then you want to go let's go to side two and select oh new symbol here and go ahead and select to fit and go ahead and do the shade artwork invisible it's going to stay the same um, let's go to side three let's go with the red one this time and you just I mean you keep getting these really cool effects that uh, you know would take freaking forever if you were doing this by hand or you know by pencil or anything and then I'll show you on uh, side four let's go with the green again okay uh, scale it down but this time go ahead and uh, go to the right until you get basically like a anchor type of thing and move it around and see what type of effects you get and you can go ahead and go like this go to step five and do let's go back to the yellow okay uh, scale to fit and you can scale it as large as you want to as small as you want to I mean it's up to you sky's the limit on this type of program um, we'll go ahead and just hit OK just for sake of time and let's see what it looks like from this angle I mean these things are really intricate it, uh, designs so take a long long time to do stuff like this I mean these ribbon effects are really cool uh, let's go ahead and hit the OK button again um, other than that I mean I'm gonna keep looking up tutorials I'm gonna keep on posting them once again, uh, my name is Rube. Uh, go ahead, take a look at Reverb Nation Doc's page. Good friend of mine, got some killer beats out there. Um, if you have any questions for me, go ahead, subscribe, send me a comment, tell me what you think about them. Appreciate any feedback. Uh, give me a message, and if you need uh, if you need a tutorial on how to do something, I'm just learning. So the best way to learn is actually to do stuff. Uh, you know, go ahead, send me a message of something that you would like me to try, and I'll try my best to do it for you. Have a good one.